All right, hey everybody, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. I just got back from the uh, meat processor. We had one of our Dexter steers butchered a few weeks ago. Well, a week and a half ago, or yeah, two weeks. Um, so um, my aunt's buying this half, so we're gonna see what's uh, what comes in a half of Dexter's deer. So he dressed at uh, right around 500 pounds, so it was 250 for a half, and we'll see how much meat we got out of him. Seventy seventy one and a half pounds of ground beef. Thank you. So chuck roast. One chuck roast. Is the arm in there? roast. So one chuck roast, one arm roast, flank steak. Another arm roast, rump roast, rib sticks. So there's three. Seven packages of rib steaks. That's two steaks in each one. T bones. One, two, three, four. Four packages of T bones. Two packages of porterhouse. Then a chuck roast. Then an arm roast. Then a rump roast. Marrow bones. Another chuck roast. Another chuck roast. Another chuck roast. Three more chuck roasts. Soup bones. Soup bones. Tail. Tenderloin. And the soup bones. And bones. Alright, to recap, so we got 71 and a half pounds of ground beef. There's five chuck roasts, three arm roasts, one flank, flank steak, two rump roasts, seven packages of rib steaks with two in each pack, four packages of T-bones with two in each pack, two packages of porterhouse, a couple pa small packages of tenderloin, the oxtail, some soup bones and some neck bones. So that was out of a 250 pound uh, half steer so that's actually a pretty big steer for a Dexter dressing out at 500 pounds I think the average is usually around it'll probably be between 3 and, and 500 so but that's right at about I think he's probably was 26 months old or so so he's just over two years uh, all grass fed once in a while they would get a treat of grain um, so pretty good we're overall we're pretty happy with that that yield but uh, you can see the some of the marbling of the steak so even the guy at the butcher shop was impressed with the marbling on the steak from a grass-fed beef a lot of people up here do grain fed grain and hay combination so 
So overall we're happy with the yield of our, that first uh, Dexter steer of 2022. Our next one, who's actually on the north side of the property, uh, he's going at the end of October. He wasn't quite as big, so we wanted to try to put some more weight on him before we did send him to butcher. Uh, but 500 pounds for a, a Dexter steer is, is on the high end, I would say, uh, on average. So um, so we're looking forward to uh, doing the next steer. We're going to save either a quarter or half of that and compare it to our um, uh, bull that we had butchered uh, in, in January. So we're looking forward to trying some steer meat. Uh, but so far the bull has been delicious and tender as can be. So we're very happy with, with, with the quality of, of the Dexter beef so far. Why is bothering you, Mr. P? I tried spraying you the other day, but you wouldn't let me. These are not big cows at all. Mr. P probably weighs 1,100 pounds, if that, so. Pretty short, nice long body structure on him. But number one, these cows are very docile. Temple's got a bit of attitude, but we can deal with her. July 18th. We got corn tasseling. Nice stand of corn there. Some weedy beans. So thanks for watching. If you want to see a video where we compared a uh, Hereford a steer that we had raised a, f a few years ago compared to our Dexter beef uh, bull, click right here. See you next time.